In this video, we're going to look at six steps to help you read better. These are previewing, annotating, outlining, looking for patterns, contextualizing, and comparing and contrasting. Let's have a look at each of these in detail. Firstly, previewing. Before you start reading, you should look around the text and see what your first impressions are. This will help you focus your reading. Think about the following. Are there headings or an abstract or additional materials that come with the text? What do these tell you? Is the author already known to you? And how does their reputation or credentials influence your perception of what you're about to read? If the author's unfamiliar or unknown, does an editor introduce them or has your lecturer told you about them? Does the text seem to be arranged according to certain conventions? Newspaper ex uh, articles, for example, have characteristics that you'll recognise. Textbooks and scholarly essays are organised quite differently. Once you know what you're dealing with, then you can annotate. Start by throwing away your highlighter. Highlighting can seem like an active reading strategy, but those bright yellow lines you put on a printed page one day can seem strangely cryptic the next. A pen or pencil will allow you to do much more with the text in terms of making notes. You should use your pencil to mark up the margins of your text with words and phrases and ideas that occur to you while you're reading. Following annotation, you can begin to outline, summarise and analyse. The best way to determine that you've really gotten the point of a text is to be able to state it in your own words. Outlining what the text is about involves taking your annotations and making a list of the key points and arguments from the text, normally in bullet points or as a numbered list. Summarising accomplishes something similar, but in a sentence and paragraph form and with the connections between ideas being made more explicit. Analyzing then requires you to not just restate the main ideas, but to also test the logic, credibility, and emotional impact of the argument. This is a key part of the reading, and you should ask yourself the following questions as you do your analysis. What is the writer asserting? What am I being asked to believe or accept? Are they facts, are they opinions, or is it some mixture? What reasons or evidence does the author supply to convince me? Is there any place in the text where this reasoning breaks down? Are there things that do not make sense? While doing this, you should also look for repetitions and patterns. The way language is chosen, used and positioned in a text can be an important indication of what the author considers crucial and what they expect you to glean from their argument. So be watchful for Reoccurring images, repeated words, phrases, types of examples or illustrations, consistent ways of categorising people, events or issues. And once you've done all this, you can think about the context. When you contextualise, you essentially review a text that you've encountered, acknowledging how it's framed by its historical, cultural or intellectual circumstances. For example, a paper about the internet that was written before 2005 won't discuss Google Maps or Facebook, so we'll present a very different picture to an article written in 2015. Finally, compare and contrast. None of your reading should happen in isolation, and you'll need to read many things to write a good essay. You should set these readings against each other to determine their relationships. If they are texts that are set by your lecturer, you might want to consider the following questions. At what point in the term does the reading come? Why that point, do you think? How does it contribute to the main concepts and themes from your course? How does it compare or contrast to the ideas presented in the text that came before it? Does it continue a trend? Does it shift direction? Does it expand on a previous idea? And how has your thinking been altered by this reading? Or how has it affected your response to other issues and themes from the course? Reading academically is a lot of work, but as you practice this skill, these stages become second nature and you can do them more quickly. When starting out though, take time to break your reading down to each of these six stages. It will really help you get to grips with the complex ideas and that will really improve your writing too.